Hey guys, this is Nate with My Liberty Homestead. Wanted to uh, show you today I'm working out on some of these frames. Um, I, uh, you probably know I'm foundationless as far as, uh, as far as the frames. I don't put any wax or even plastic foundation in. Um, I have used starter strips in the past. I don't honestly think it makes much difference uh, once the bees are actually working. Um, so I wanted to uh, just show you I'm cleaning up. This is a, uh, a dead out from last year. I'm just trying to clean up and get this ready for uh, installation in another hive. So um, sometimes when you have foundationless frames, the, the bees will not necessarily cross comb them, but they'll have, have a lot of waves. It'll, it'll be a little thicker over here and then you know, maybe thinner on this side on, right here. Um, so it'll kind of be on like a wavy type pattern. Um, so what I was going through, I, this, this spot is right here. I ended up just cutting that out because this was, it had bumped out quite a bit uh, or they had built it out quite a bit. So I wanted to uh, show you, you can see it's, it's kind of thin on that side. What I'm going through and doing is just uh, cutting out anything that uh, anything that needs cut out that is not going to be straight in line for this season. You can see this one here, mostly okay. See, I'll cut that out right there, and uh, this chunk of this in there that had some uh, had some old brood in it that I uh, just ended up cutting out. But stuff like that, where you can see there is a, a visible difference. That's the kind of things that I'm looking for here. Also wanted to show you this on this uh, this frame right here. Um, just through the winter and just being moved around, and I probably did it when I moved the box. As you can see, it kind of separated out, but most of the frame, um, you know, is still attached. So what I'll do is I'll just go through here and uh, I'll attach some uh, rubber bands and just keep held in there and just keep this nice and tight. That way it doesn't bounce around. That way uh, the bees will reattach it whenever they need to on the when, the, when they're building, when this actually gets stuck inside a, uh, a working hive. Try and get these open here. Sorry about the camera trying to do this one-handed. You can see there's one of the rubber bands keeping me from pulling this out. That's a, you know, as a brood frame there, you can see there's a little bit right here. I'll chop that off. That one looks pretty good. Go along, make sure it's not flimsy and then actually stuck in the frame. Now here's another one. Get my hive tool down in here. Break this open. This one is another one that's a little flimsy. Looks like the uh, attachments might have come out. And you see this one actually looks like it's almost totally fallen out. So that's going to take some working to get it out of the box just to make sure it's all in one piece. You can see it's just flopping around in there. So that's one I'm going to definitely have to rubber band or I could just melt it down. I mean, so there's a couple different options when you get to that point. Um, but drawn comb, especially for a uh, swarm or a a nuke you're going to make is really going to make them build, you know, way faster. Um, I mean, you're talking weeks. That way they don't have to, uh, or, you know, week or weeks. That way they don't have to build out all that new comb. Um, I just keep all my uh, spent comb or, you know, old comb that I've just been collecting through the hives. This was some of the stuff that I collected on the, the bottom board of one of the hives. And I ended up just scooping it all up. And most of it's wax. There's some bees in there. But, you know, thoraxes and nothing, nothing crazy. Um, you know, here's some fresh comb I just got today. And here's a... Here's a big ball of comb that I actually just got from uh, from stuff some uh, <clears throat> some over over building into different uh, different frames that I wanted to pull out. So I mean, save all this stuff and, and melt it down. And you can you know make your starter strips or you can paint your uh, paint your frames the inside of the top bar of the frames. I mean, some people do that as well. So uh, that's totally up to you. But I just wanted to uh, give you a quick little rundown as far as how I'm trying to manage my uh, how I'm trying to manage my uh, foundationless frames. So uh, it's, it's not cut and dry. I mean, it is pretty simple, but it's, it's a matter of mostly staying on top of them and, and making sure that they're, uh, they're building what they need, where they need, <clears throat> and that they're not going to cross come. So uh, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, check out the blog at mylibertyhomestead.com. Have a great day.